Hi, today I am going to demonstrate uh, a hello world example for Spring Source tool. And for this, you will require two plugins. One is Eclipse uh, Maven, uh, Maven plugin for Eclipse, uh, and another is Spring Source tool, which you can get from Eclipse Marketplace. The source is Spring. And you get this spring source tool just install it and same for eclipse maven plugin just source maven you can add any maven plugin for eclipse doesn't matter okay let's see start so <clears throat> let's create a project i will create uh, spring so if you have a spring install then you will get this spring then spring project next it will take some time then spring mvc project let's name as hello hello spring next and the package name yes now what the plugin does is, is create it creates the whole project now with all the configuration for you you can also do the same thing with the maven plugin only using a maven project which i will show in other video Okay, now it created. Now we go to pom.xml and <coughs> we add the dependency for the Spring Source tool. Sorry, Spring Security. and we add few some dependencies so this is the dependency for spring security and let's also add the version of the spring security so we want to add 2.3 and we don't want 3.1.1 for the spring framework instead we want 3.2.8 save it now that's it for the poem.xml and let's go to web.xml so this s means it's a spring related things so let's go to web.xml and in web.xml <coughs> so it is already configured to handle spring mbc so this is your sorbet context if you don't put this parameter then by default it will be app sorbet minus context.xml in web.xml and with this you can define your own custom location <coughs> okay so let's put the detail for spring security only because spring mbc is already there and this is the detail for spring security so this is the <coughs> another context file which contains the spring security configuration and this is the filter so it says for all the requests 
this is the filter and the filter is the spring filter so it <coughs> so what filter does is it gets all the request and response first and then it does its processing in the filter and filter will return control back to the same servlet so whenever something happens to the servlet it goes through the filter so it is like intercepting all the request and response okay now we have to define this file so, <coughs> so it is we said it's located in a spring folder so these are the files already created you don't have to worry okay so i just copied it because i already had it first let's not see it so basically what i did was this so i defined three rules rule for guest rule for admin and rule for user okay now we are done with the configuration now let's do the real work so the plugin also defines some dummy hello world controller for you I'll extend the same controller for you so this is the dummy controller it just uh, displays the server time to you so let me modify a little bit this controller so I will say this is my home page and let me define some other page let's define the page for admin so this is the page for admin and this is uh, the object from spring uh, mbc framework so first what i do is i create a model uh, of type model and view then add different things to the model what i want and just display some gsp page that is in set view we have now we have to define this admin.gsp page at the moment we are seeing error because i have not updated so it should download the dependency not important so <coughs> what is happening here is I'm defining an admin page and this is the URL for the admin page and set view so it is now displaying the admin to CSP page with I have to define in views folder why because in root context sorry not in root context in sorbet context it is mentioned that all the views are located here the JSC files so we, we have to define JSC files there which we'll do later first let's define everything in the controller the home controller so we define the admin page let's define another page for the admin which is admin profile page and for this we need admin profile.gsp page and a page for user and a page for a guest user so this is the page for the user where we just define this is a user page for a guest user page we just say this is a guest user page that's it now let's define all the gsp page so we need admin.gsp admin profile.gsp user.gsp and guest.gsp which i will just 
paste here and just show you these pages so it just contain nothing it has a title and message that's it same for admin profile it's title and message title and message title and message and this message is sent to this page from the controller through this model and view object so this is it now define now we do the final thing that is we have to define who is able to access these phases which we'll do in spring security dot xml so this is how we do it so we say admin is accessible to admin admin profile is also accessible to admin this page is accessible to user and this page to guest and this is how we define the roles so this is a username and this is a password okay that's it this is it and now let's do maven build okay just right click run as then just maven build then we have to do clean install so clean will delete if there is some existing war file and install will install a new war file then just run it and let's see what happens okay so war file is building and build is success now you just need to go to the target folder just refresh it pressing f5 and we have the war file we will just copy to our tomcat folder so this is the tomcat folder and web apps let's delete this whole thing okay so make it simple name and let's test if, if everything works so we start up that bad. So if everything goes fine then we should not see any error okay there is no error okay fine so yeah since i'm making making this video twice so it's already open because earlier something happened so this is our home page or the same page now let's try to go to I think it's sorry I think I was already logged in first I log out let's go to admin page yeah it's blocked because I have to log in as admin try to go to user page same thing and the guest also the same thing because we have to log in so admin admin sorry now I'm Log into admin and let's see admin profile page. And this is admin profile page. Same for user. And I'm logged into user page. So that's it. So in the next video, we'll see how to create same thing from using Maven only. And we, if you don't want, uh, if you are not con comfortable with this plugin, Spring Source Tool plugin, and also in the video I will show how to change this uh, page because currently when you want to log in, then you will see this default page. So you may be wondering from where this page came. So this page was created for you by Spring Framework itself. And you don't have to create this page but you can modify this page and add your own page also which we'll see later